Hi, Duncan from 6.5 here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a nice branded header to your Google Docs. And the way we do this is we insert an image inside of the header area of a Google Doc. So here's a document I have already. And if you didn't know already, if you just kind of click in this white space up at the top, you can edit your header. And obviously in there, you can do things like type text, you can uh, insert various bits and pieces like the date, for example. Um, and you can also do things like page numbers, right? So uh, page count and page numbers. So I don't want to do that in this header. I want to actually put an image in there and make it pretty. Yeah. So now I have an image and pre-made, here it is. And as you can see what it does, it kind of pops it in and it keeps that margin and that body all the way around it. So the first thing I want to do is uh, set this image so that I can use break text and I want to take the margin off and then uh, going back to my header settings, I wanna change the header format so that I do not have any um, uh, margin from the top there. Now, where's that gone? That should be up here inside of my header still. It should not be as part, there we go, cool. So it's now in my header. So now you can see it's right up against the very top, so that's awesome. And then what I can do now is, it's not, it's not working anymore, is it? Let me just uh, go back and grab my image again. A little bit fiddly as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna drop my image in, I'm gonna go block, and then I'm going to make it bigger. There we go, just stretch it out. Um, now this one is, or this image is about 600 wide. You probably wanna go about 1200 wide in order to um, get it to sit in the right place and get the right size. Um, but there we go, now I have that image in place. Uh, it's nicely um, pushed all the way across the top Okay, so your image size wants to be about 1200 pixels wide by 90 or so high. Obviously you can change the, uh, the height of it and then um, adjust the margins to get it there. Um, but that's how you make a nice branded header. Um, and if we enter a new page, as you can see, it'll pop that header across the top there for us again. Uh, you can obviously do that in the footer as well. Um, and obviously bear in mind that you could still also put text in there if you wanted, uh, like page numbers and so forth. But uh, that uh, header just gives you the, the bit that you need in order to make that work out. Thanks very much for watching. If this was useful, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And we'll see you in the next video.